We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the Gubby Gubby people, for their artworks and knowledge. They built huts out of grass and made paint called ochre. They painted rocks and made tools that are in museums now. We thank them for this beautiful land. Welcome to our home, Bribey Island and Sandstone Point. Right here is Bribey Bridge, famous for the pelicans that sit on top of the light poles. Can you see them? They were made from parrots. One year to Bribey Island. is a volunteer marine rescue service who saves lives of people at sea. You can say hello to Steve, who will tell you about the VMR. At several places, you might find a chest containing a book. If you read the book, it will tell you how we would like to heal country for future generations. The lovely National Park, home to many animals and plants. Plants were used by traditional owners such as bungalow fern from Melaleuca wetlands, which was a staple food, as well as bulrush roots, yams, and cabbage palms. Canoes were made from stringy bark, tallow wood, and other tree bark. We have a small, small number of emus or Neruin on the island, which were made from llamas. The National Park is surrounded by mangrove habitat. This is home to many creatures, including crabs, birds, such as ibis and lace monitors. We have a lot of ibis on Bribey, and it's nice to see them in their natural habitat. As we fly around, you may see some of the ibises we made out of chickens. Warren Beach covers the east side of the island and is an important nesting ground for turtles, including green sea turtle and loggerhead turtles. People are allowed to drive on these beaches, which disturbs the turtles and their nests. Look inside the chest to read how we could, would like to heal this part of the country. Buckley's Hole is a conservation park with a lagoon that supports up to 250 species of waterfowl and migratory birds. Speak to Mr. Bird to find out how we would like to protect this area for the future. Bongaree is the seaside museum. Mr. Bone can tell you all about how Bongaree got its name. This museum displays local artworks, maritime artifacts, historical preserved fish species, and wartime history. We would like to see displays to educate people about the Gubby Gubby peoples, local places of significance, and local indigenous artworks displayed. Once you see our Bribey Jetty, you get an amazing view of Pumstone Passage, home to many marine animals and plants, including dolphins, turtles, dugongs, and seagrass. Open the chest to see how we would like to heal country here. Pumstone Passage is a protected marine park. It is a special place that needs to be further protected for future generations. If you go underwater, you can see Mr. Scuba Diver, who can tell you more. Across the water is Sandstone Point, which holds many places of significance for the Gubby Gubby people.
At sandstone point are the ochre cliffs where gubby gubby people ground down the ochre to use for painting. There is still ochre there today, however, not many people are aware that it's there as it, this is not protected area. In the future, we would like this area to not only be protected, but to also have signs to educate people about its importance. Around Sandstone Point and also on Rabi Island are shell middens. These are areas built up over thousands of years, consisting of shells, bones and artifacts from where the Gubby Gubby people ate food collected from the sea and surrounding land. This area was rich in seafood, including fish, crab and oysters. Sandstone Point are also the remains of fish traps used by the Gubby Gubby people to catch fish. The high tide would wash the fish into the area, and when the tide went out, the fish would remain in the trap, making them easier to catch. There are many other signs and NPCs to talk to in our world. We would love you to explore and learn more about where we live and how we would like to heal country for future generations. We hope you enjoy our world!